Let me come back to that later. Um, I wanted to have a look with you at the peace agreement. Um, Azerbaijan and Armenia have been negotiating for months. It seems to be stuck um, uh, right now. Can you uh, shed some light on where you stand? Well, well, huge work has been done during recent two, three years, despite all the challenges, the escalations, attacks on Armenian uh, territory. territory. Um, we, the Armenian side, we have been very constructive during the negotiations. Uh, you know, there, is, there are good news and bad news here. The good news is that we succeeded, we somehow managed to have some success uh, with the Azerbaijani party. For instance, most recently we adopted uh, the first ever legal document uh, between the two countries. So we uh, adopted the regulation on the joint work of the border, respective border commissions. So this is the, these commissions work on the delimitation of the border between Armenia and Azerbaijan. And in this document, we managed to agree that the basis of the delimitation process should be the Alma Ata Declaration of 1991, which is quite an achievement. Uh, not to overload you with the details, uh, I would only say that, among other things, Almata Declaration of 1991 stated that the parties, which are former Soviet Union republics, basically 12 of the 15 Soviet Union republics, they adopted this document. So according to this document, among other things, the republics recognized that the former administrative borders between them as Soviet socialist republics now become internationally recognized interstate borders. So this means that, means that we uh, have a border with Azerbaijan and while starting delimiting this border, we have a solid ground, solid basis. This is quite an achievement, but this was the good news. The bad news is that there are some other topics that we are negotiating around, for instance, the, the more comprehensive document, the peace treaty. So uh, uh, imagine we have a situation when we have an almost completed, finalized text of peace treaty. There is a draft, uh, but uh, we don't, don't sign it. So the Azerbaijani side is reluctant to sign this uh, peace uh, document, peace agreement. Uh, for some reasons, I don't know, for some calculations, they come up with new and new preconditions each time, and we see that the, they don't want, just don't want to sign the document. Um, so this time they say that there are more things that could be agreed. We believe that there is no single agreement in the world between any two countries which regulates all the aspects, all the uh, spheres of their uh, relations. Meanwhile, we can sign this uh, uh, a very serious document to start with and then continue negotiating over remaining issues. So we don't see this political will from Azerbaijan side. So in November, um, Baku will host the COP27, the climate conference. Do you think this could be a, a driver in accelerating the peace process? I hope so. I hope so, because uh, uh, if you remember, we supported Azerbaijan candidacy for having this COP29 uh, event in Baku. And um, indeed, I, I really believe that there is a momentum, there is a real opportunity to close the page of conflict in our region, at least between Armenia and Azerbaijan, and open a new page of era of peace and uh, on cooperation. Why not? Uh, um, there, uh, in our corner of the planet. But yeah, the reality is something else.